All right, Jordan Decatur. Uh, congratulations, Thank knocking you. off Cadet Thank World you. Team member and fe fellow Cadet National Champ, Dylan D'Amelio. Uh, I, I got to get something out of the way first, though. No state tournament for you. You got to tell the story. What happened? Why weren't you at the state tournament? Okay. You're dynamite. You knocked off Manton this year. Right. You're one of the best guys in the nation. I think pound for pound, in my opinion. You're a freshman at CBCA. Saw your brother, your twin brother down there, lost in the semis. Why no state tournament? All right, so um, I'm cutting a lot of weight or whatever. All right, so I get down my way. I'm pointing under on my scale the night before. Or the, the night of, or the morning of. Where sorry. is this? Uh, this is at my house. Sectionals District Sectionals, State? Sectionals, yes. Okay. So I'm pointing under on my scale in the morning of weigh-ins. We're running late to weigh-ins, we get to weigh-ins, and they're like, Cater, let's go, you gotta go weigh in. I'm like, okay, all right, I'll come weigh in, all right. So I come in there, the 13 pounds are already done weighing in. I step on, there's two scales, I step on the left one, I'm point three over. So I'm like, geez, these scales are heavy. Like either my scales are, is really light, or this scale is really heavy. So I'm like going to step on the other scale, and as I'm stepping on the other scale, um, the weigh-in official, the ref, um, my coach, they go, no. I, they said, you have an hour and a half to get it off, so just go run. Just put on your stuff, don't even step on all this scale, just go run. So I put on my stuff, I'm running for about five minutes. A bunch of kids are looking at me, coaches are looking at me, I'm like, what is everyone looking at me for? Uh, my coach comes back and he's like, hey, you gotta come weigh in. They're making you weigh in right now. I'm like, I don't think I lost anything, but I'll come weigh in, whatever. I still have an hour and a half to get it off. Turns out I get back to the weigh-in room, step on the other scale this time and I'm right on so I make weight all right so I step off the scale I put on my clothes and as I'm leaving the weighing room to go eat about 10 coaches and dads storm in there they're like no this kid's a qualified, disqualified he's disqualified since he left the, uh, the weighing room and I'm like whoa I was told to leave the weighing room so you just do what you're told right exactly I did I had no idea that that, that was a rule. And you're a pretty so, nice guy. Yeah, thank you. I, I don't think you try and like right. break the rules or right. anything. So yeah, it turns out that there's a rule where you cannot leave the weighing room uh, like during official weigh-ins. You can leave before the weigh-ins, but when your weight's called in the, to the weighing room, once you enter that weighing room, you can't leave. So um, I get disqualified, and then we figure out this guy I weighed in on the second time was point three lighter than the other one. Wow. So if I would have just stepped on the other scale right then and there, I would have been fine. The anger, the anger that comes along with it, the uh, obviously the disappointment that comes yes. along with it, yeah. it looked like you channeled that a little bit today. Yeah, I mean, you really took it to D'Amelio. Thank you, thank you. I don't even know what your your record is against him or anything like that, but yeah. but looking at it, you know, mm -hmm. the season you had, you. I thought you were, you were going to make a run for a state mm -hmm. title. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen. Right. Are you channeling that? Are you going to make this freestyle Greco season mm -hmm. a season to remember? I am. Um, definitely. I, every single day I come in the room, I think about that time where I was told I could not wrestle postseason. Every single day. It doesn't. It doesn't cross. It crossed my mind every every day. And um, I'm using this fuel, and I got over it. It's whatever. It's dead. And it's done now. I guess the only thing I can do now is try to make the world team win another forever title looking at you know get on the world team well you've been accurate yes yes so get on the world team there mm -hmm. win the world title if you can do all that and make yeah. everything happen you know it's an olympic year mm -hmm. how much would it mean to you to be able to train with the olympic team mm -hmm. and be on colorado springs making it happen this year i've been to colorado springs um in january this year and it was it was a great experience so i feel like It'd be even cooler to go down there and be able to practice again, but also to be able to compete for the United States and make the world team. So that's going to be huge. I think it's going to be fun wrestling against the best kids in the world. So that's going to be uh, fun if I make the team. Let's hope. Looking at this event, yes. we're in a high school gym in Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio. Right. But you get to wrestle a guy who's been in the world <laughs> exactly, last year and a, right. a fellow cadet national yep, champ. Yeah. What do you think that says about this event, the cadet, uh, um, the cadet Ohio junior national duel, or the it, the junior national duels here in Ohio? It says a lot. It shows how powerful Ohio is itself, and it shows how um, much better you can be in freestyle than in folk style. I feel like. Um, some kids are different, like with freestyle and folk style. Some kids are better in freestyle than they are in folk style. That's how most kids are, in my opinion. And um, it shows that, like, that, yeah, just how powerful Ohio freestyle wrestling is. Wrestling itself, folk style too. So, um, 
Yeah, it was great competing with all uh, those great kids like Emilio, um, Keaton, um, Graham Shore. Yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, competing for a uh, world title. And, um, Fargo again? Title. Yeah. Fargo again? Yes. All right, bud. You, you've abducted me. You avoided me too many times. <laughs> I finally tracked you down. You got anything else for me? Um, no, just all glory to God. Uh, hey, thanks for the time. Congratulations. Yeah, thank today. you. Thank you.